Hello Crafted Shutter Watchers and welcome to another great video today. Today I'm going to get into Pond5 Exclusive. It's been around 8 months. I think it's time for you to get an update and get an idea of my thoughts on the program and where I think it's headed, what I think the future looks like with it. And I always appreciate you guys watching this channel. A couple of important things I want to cover and then we're going to jump into the data of Pond5 Exclusive and my thoughts on it. Uh, uh, if you've noticed on my channel, I'm throwing up some tutorials on DaVinci Resolve and that's just actual, actually supplemental material to the videos that I regularly put out. And the way I've designed DaVinci Resolve tutorials is to be quick. So there's not an intro, there's not me coming on camera, they're just me jumping into the software, showing you how to do something and getting out. And I'm gonna build out a big tutorial section so that you can, if you're in a hurry and need to find and learn something, hopefully I can cover a lot of topics there for you. The reason I'm doing it is because I'm starting to use DaVinci Resolve because I really like all the tools in one place. Uh, I love Final Cut Pro 10. I still use it as well, but I'm using Resolve more and more because I don't have to worry about going into After Effects or, or Motion or um, rendering, everything, music, everything is right there and I really am enjoying it. On a side note, um, I got the little dongle for DaVinci Resolve Studio and I got it on eBay for 147 bucks. So, I mean, the software is extremely affordable and that is a one-time payment and all the updates that keep coming will be free. So, you know, I'm not trying to knock Adobe's cloud, but I'm telling you the 150 is a whole lot cheaper and the software is just as powerful. So, that's one reason why I'm enjoying using it. Now, back to the subject of this video. And if you have any thoughts or questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Pond5 Exclusive started back in March of this year. So uh, I, I'm going to give you the data and some numbers and then we can think about it and, and talk this out a little bit. So from March, uh, about mid-March to right today, my total earnings have been $1,012. So... You know, not horribly bad. I have 1,044 clips online. I have backgrounds. I have a few cinemagraphs. I have some medical clips. I have some aerials. I have some outdoor motion. I have um, outdoor action. I've just I've, I've tried to get a decent variety of clips on there in order to be able to have a decent conversation about where I think it is going. So we have 1,012, which breaks down to... Uh, over all the months, $126. Now, that sounds low, and it is low, because keep in mind, they didn't really start promoting it for a few months after they started. So if you just look at my past 30 days, my past 30 days is $313 out of 1,044 clips, and that's actually pretty decent. So if you took, for an argument's sake, and, and again, this can't be a straight argument because of content. Again, content is what rules the roost at the end of the day. So if you have poor content, it doesn't matter what uh, how many clips you have up there. So let's just say I took all of my clips and made them exclusive, and I was pretty much at the same rate. Now, I think that I would be higher because I have some really high-end clips online. But if you took the 313 for the past eight months or just this past 30 days and you use that example because I have about 8,000 clips and I do the math, I come out to $2,504 um, for the month. That's just, that's just the argument if I went and made all of my clips exclusive. Probably I could add, because I'm not counting the 1,000 that were in there, so Let's just make it, uh, you know, $3,500. So $3,500 if I decided to go all exclusive with Pond5 right now. Um, that's not too horrible. Um, I still couldn't afford to go all the way exclusive, but that's not the, the question here. Because the real question is, is it worth it? And, and per download, you know, making $47, $95, $35, depends on what licensing and who's buying what. 
As always, we get yanked up and down on prices. That's a whole nother conversation. But in general, the prices are higher. And I feel that after eight months, um, after really thinking about it as we're going into the busy season and, and watching it carefully, and I will continue to watch and will continue to upload some, is that I do feel it's actually worth it. It's not a bad deal. It's not throw yourself under the bus kind of deal. So um, they haven't done poorly on executing the exclusive portion. I know if you read on the forums and you hear a lot of whining and a lot of complaining, and a lot of people saying this or that. But at the end of the day, it's all about money for each one of us if we're in this as a business. And as a business, it's not too horribly bad. And the benefit of that, of the exclusive side, uh, is that you only upload to one site and you just keep going and, and you walk away. In other words, it's a huge time saver. Now, the, the tricky argument is, and, and it is a tricky one, and I'm actually putting in clips in to test the theory against Blackbox. So, Blackbox is also a place where you can upload just once and move on with your life, so to speak, and continue to produce more. So, would it benefit a person more to upload a thousand clips to Blackbox or to upload them a thousand clips to Pond5 Exclusive? I'm working that out myself right now. I'll have some numbers for you in the future. But man, I'm telling you, it is pretty, pretty tight considering that Black Box aggregates to four different sites and Pond5 is only one. So uh, it's a tough call. It's going to be interesting to see in the future if which one's worth the most. Now, that being said, um, I if you are submitting to Pond5 Exclusive, I think that's a good thing. And I think that you need to consider what type of work you're putting as exclusive. And I think you do need to put your high-end files, your best work as exclusive, and you can mark them up a little bit. And if you put your premium content there or content that you want to protect or content that's very hard to get and you want to charge a premium for it, then Pond5 is a great outlet. If you're just looking to make the most out of your clips and do it in the least amount of pain possible, uh, Black Box may also be a great option. Um, I have not gone through all the sites and submitted um, clips to each one like I used to. I've either been doing Pond5 exclusive or submitting them through Black Box at this time. I'm testing this out for myself to see how it is working. I hope you found this useful, um, the data especially, the data useful and you making your decision. There's not a right or wrong in this industry. As much as people like to scream and holler in this industry, there's not a right or wrong. There is what is right for you and what is working for you, the artist. There's a lot of options out there and there's a lot of different ways you can take your business. There's a lot of people out there just shooting stock on the side and then they have me curated, upload it for them, and we split the profits. There's a many ways to get involved in this market. But at the end of the day, the, the, it's the, still, the bottom line is still the same no matter how you're in this business. And that is quality matters more than quantity. So if you're putting out garbage, you're not going to get anything for it. And over time, you're going to quit anyway. Also, I want to also point out something really important right now in the industry. We are reaching a saturation point on a lot of different subjects. So let's just take, for instance, New York City or Los Angeles and uh, aerials of New York City. I mean, there is a lot of competition for amazing aerials in New York City. So you know, you may be producing amazing content, but if it's a saturated segment of the market, you might not be seeing that great of sales. Also, if you're if you're producing amazing content in really remote parts of the earth, that's fantastic, but it may not be producing a lot of high-end sales for you, even though your work is high-end. And that can be really frustrating for a lot of really good artists out there. So you have to keep in mind to keep your portfolio balanced with daily life, uh, lifestyle, medical, uh, thematic shoots that Pond5 puts on their site. Other sites per tell you what to shoot, education, that list goes on. 
balance that out with these high-end um, sites that you're shooting at around the world and you're going to have a much higher rate of success in your portfolio. So hey, I hope you found this useful. I hope that um, you subscribe to the channel, get involved, check out the community tab, uh, ask questions below, and I am happy to be along on this ride for you. My sales are picking up through October. I hope the numbers the next month are even better. I look forward to giving them to you. And until then, we will see you. Well, I'll do some more videos between now and then. We'll see you in the next video.